Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Paul Walker. Dude, ladies, flip out. When you meet this dude, you felt like he jumped out of a magazine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, that's who he was. Damn, bro, man, he like them apples. Show off. That's the Brian O'Connor school driving right there, baby. But there was a dodgy side to Paul Walker that no one really seemed to talk about. Yeah, Paul Walker, one of the stars of the enormously popular Fast and Furious movies, dead in a car crash. The accident scene tells the story. Fans were shocked when actor Paul Walker died in a car crash back in 2013. Walker is still a fan favorite from the Fast and the Furious film franchise, and he's generally known as having been a nice person both inside and outside of Hollywood. And that makes his dating history all the more complicated for his fans and followers. It turns out that when he died, Paul was in a relationship with 23-year-old Jasmine Pulchard Gosnell. Now, Walker was 40 when he passed, and there is a significant age gap of about 17 years between the two of them. But the shocking part is that they started dating when Walker was 33 and Jasmine was 16. I'm a sucker for a good smile. I'm a sucker for a good smile, so there you go. And one fact that is particularly concerning is that the age consent in California is 18 years old, which means that Jasmine was a minor at the time. Something, you know? So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that on hold and, you know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll stealth date. <laughs> Jasmine also wasn't the first teenager that Walker was involved with. As prior to Jasmine, he had been in a relationship with Aubriana Atwell, who was also 16 when she met the actor. Uh, yeah, it was a couple times actually when that happened. And the two reportedly had an on-again, off-again relationship which lasted for several years. It should be noted that there is no evidence that Paul and Jasmine had a sexual relationship while she was a minor. But regardless, an adult having a romantic relationship with a minor is still problematic. When news about the details of Walker's relationship became public knowledge, it drew attention from thousands of people and obviously a lot of people took to social media to express their feelings about the matter with one particular Twitter user stating the following. Paul Walker's girlfriend was a minor, young enough to be his daughter. If it's wrong for R. Kelly, it's wrong for Paul Walker. What's wrong? We're about equality, right? Dig him up and sit him in court like Michael Jackson. Pretty hectic. And uh, another user chimed in with the following. Isn't it great how predators and abusers are sheltered from any consequences and go on to ruin countless lives because they provide tepid entertainment and somehow Hollywood and fans think it's a fair trade? Now, admittedly, this is a very sensitive subject. Um, I guess the topic of grooming can also come into play. And um, also particularly because Paul Walker is no longer with us. And for many, it is worth asking why Paul Walker's relationships with these teenage girls wasn't given more attention. And whether this is just another example of people turning a blind eye when a Hollywood star is doing something wrong. A reason why this hasn't garnered as much attention as expected could have something to do with the Fast and the Furious film franchise. On green, I'm going for it. The series has been commercially successful and it is Universal's biggest franchise and the seventh highest grossing film series with a combined gross of over seven billion dollars. But uh, it's where we're at and nobody thought this was going to happen, you know, when we were making the first one. We were, we were low risk. And one has to wonder whether, you know, or how much the revelations about Walker's dodgy love life you know, how much of an impact it could have had or have on the earning potential of the Fast and the Furious movies and all future Fast and the Furious movies. 
and whether or not this was intentionally swept under the rug by Hollywood for money-making purposes. I don't know, I can't say. I mean, I know, but I can't say. In 2018, a documentary titled I Am Paul Walker was released, which basically looked into his love of cars and in general just being a good guy. It also featured a lot of interviews with family and friends. However, many people found it to be really suspect that none of his relationships were discussed and they found it odd, particularly when they were putting together a documentary about his life. I just thought he was the coolest guy in the world and had nothing to do with the movies. No. The cinema didn't capture it all, couldn't capture it all. Oh, I thought I was going for sure. Paul was very private about his seven-year relationship with Jasmine, so it's difficult to speculate how serious they were. Now, stories like this does make one wonder about how much of this sort of thing Hollywood sweeps under the rug, particularly with the whole Me Too movement that came into real prominence in around 2017, you know, with big names that have come out like Harvey Weinstein. In December, Weinstein was convicted on three counts of rape and sexual assault. The 70-year-old was sentenced to eight years on, one, on count one, six years on count two, and two years on count three all to run consecutively. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby found guilty on all counts. 80-year-old Bill Cosby was found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting Temple University employee Andrea Constant. And even more recently, that 70s show star Danny Masterson. That's right, actor Danny Masterson, made famous from that 70s show, has been found guilty on two of three counts of rapes. So one has to wonder how much is being swept under the rug for the purposes of fame, fortune, and I guess to a certain degree, power. Ride or die. Ride or die. Now, I just want to make it very clear that there are obviously different levels to this type of behavior, and I'm not comparing Paul Walker to the Harvey Weinsteins and Bill Cosby's of the world, but it is kind of difficult to ignore when you hear these revelations about a uh, mega movie star that that is or that was Paul Walker. So it's 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 a little bit difficult to ignore, and it's um, it's a little bit disconcerting as well. Uh, I have a dark side.